the, the subject has changed from um, health and spirit to love. And uh, one of your loves, Dina, is, is art. Outside of your family, I mean, you love art. And, and tell us uh, how your love of art may have helped you uh, mentally cope with the breast cancer issue. Um, well, first of all, just to tell you why I love art, I think it provides for me the, the spiritual truth that, that I look for. It connects me with people from all times and eras and their histories and their cultures and, and the beauty that they produce. And the concept of beauty and truth and art for me are very, very spiritual. And so that's why I love art. And your spiritual life is, is a very important to you, is it not? Extremely. Um, and art is probably the, the, the way that I source my spirit. And energy. and Into the world. Yeah, like behind me you see this is one, my art bookcase. And I have right floor to ceiling art books and I read them every day. Every day. I have four or five books open around the house and I'm always looking at it and reading art history. Now, is looking at pictures considered reading? Well, you're absorbing. <laughs> I, well, really, you're it sounds, get, like, a, it sounds like a trick question, but it really wasn't. Um, I mean, you're seeing what these people thought, right? And, and what they felt, really. I mean, the post-impressionist period it was the period that feeling became paramount to seeing. It wasn't just recording history or showing what had taken place in some religious or historical context. It was what the artists themselves Felt. Name some of the artists that you're referring right. to. Cezanne, Gauguin, Manet, Matisse. These were highly... Uh, Picasso, that's later than the post-impressionist. He's, of course, early modern cubist. Oh, I knew that. I knew that right away. <laughs> but I didn't know he was Cuban, though. Cubist. Oh, oh, Cubist, okay. He okay. was a Spaniard. <laughs> so, this whole thing about art and relate it back to the uh, breast cancer issue. How did, how did it help you? Well, first of all, when I, when I look at artwork, I feel very calm. I feel very settled. I feel, I feel good, you know? So it, it was something that was always there and always the same, no matter what my temperament or what my feeling might have been at the time. And, and a lot of these artists really struggled and really suffered. I mean, it, a lot of their suffering produced great art, and so, that's always in the back of my mind, too, is these are often difficult, difficult times, and look at the beauty that came out of it. And that was your crutch, if you will, to, uh, to help you out, and it may not be art for somebody else, but would you recommend that somebody else have, have some other, something to love or something to look forward to if they're, if they're in this situation? Definitely. Um, if you can appreciate, if you can find goodness and find solace in something outside of yourself, you'll see that there's more than yourself to be concerned about, and it, it's very helpful for me. Thanks so much for sharing that, and uh, we look forward to our next episode. Thank you, John.